All right, so uh, we're going to look at um, how to find the F test statistic, and um, we're going to need to do an ANOVA, um, which you can do with StatCrunch. I'm going to do that right now, and we'll see that um, we can click on this icon right here and open data in StatCrunch, which you should be familiar with already. Okay, so here's the data, and um, <clears throat> we go into stat ANOVA, and we're doing one an a one way ANOVA. Um, we want all these columns. Oops. You can um, hit the shift key. That's what I'm hitting right now. It says right here. Use the shift key to click multiple because if you I'm letting go of the shift key. You just click on one and only select one at a time. Hit the shift key. Or sorry, control. Uh, uh, okay, I'm using control click. Okay, so control, and then you start clicking. You can, uh, select all three variables. You want all of them over here. And um, I think that'll be all you really need. So I'm going to go up here, hit compute. And there you go. There's the F statistic. Um, so that's 0.3868, round to however many decimals it says. I think it says three decimals here. And um, so that would be 0.387. Not sure. I don't think I'm in a format where I can submit the answer. I'll try, but it's 0.387. Um, yeah, it's not letting me check, I don't think. Uh, well, anyways, yeah, that's how you go about it and find um, the F statistic, or the, the test statistic, which is an um, F test statistic in this case for ANOVA uh, in StackRanch. Pretty simple. All right, let me know if you have any concerns.